Tracy Wyatt. I am the independent candidate running for first elect woman here in Brantford, Connecticut. I'm going to provide you information on where I stand, who I am, and the information that is invaluable to you to make your choice here this election day, November 5th. There's information available to you in our website. Go to BranfordVoters.com. You can find a lot more information about me, my plan, and my grander plan for Branford, and my vision of where I stand here in Branford, Connecticut. You will be able to see information, learn more about who I am and where I've come from, and as I lived my life here for 42 years in Branford, and a lot of the great events that I volunteered and been part of here in Branford, Connecticut. I am part of your Parks and Open Space Commissioner, and again, I'm running on the independent ticket as an independent, an unaffiliated, and we do wish to bring an independent here back to Branford. I'm the right choice. I'm the person that can make some great changes to Brantford and also preserve a lot of the great things that we've had here too. I have a great plan and I have a great mind for business. I understand how Brantford needs to be start running like a business and I offer that to us here in Brantford. So this election day, November 5th, vote JC Wyatt for first select woman, even for the Board of Education. I'm on the third line under independent Brantford voters. You can option for either one of these options, but again, I would make it very clear to you to vote independent. I'm a very smart candidate. I'm a very strong leader here for us here in Brantford, and I look for your support. I hope you enjoy all of the information and presentation we're going to be providing you in these shows, and I hope you, that you have any questions or wish to reach out or need to have anything cleared up or want any information that I can help you with, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm very easily found on Twitter, email, Facebook, and also on YouTube. A lot of this information is all socially available to you. And again, we made it very easy this year to help you a little bit more about knowing who I am and where I come from here to provide you the information that you need to make a great choice this year for the town of Brantford. Again, I'm JC Wyatt. I thank you and enjoy the show. Hi, I'm JC Wyatt, and welcome to this part where I'm gonna get you more information about me. As you can see behind me, I love interior design. We created a great set for you to see some of my personal interests and what I like to do. I was born here in Brantford 42 years ago. I've lived here all my life. I have traveled around the world, and I've been also many different careers. I've been a businesswoman since 1995 here in Brantford and have many different businesses that I've spread my life and all of my interests into. I'll give you a timeline on that shortly. But one of the first things I want to bring up is just to give you a little bit closer background of me and my family and a little bit more of where I came from here in Brantford. So I was raised by a wonderful family, an artistic family on my mother's side, who gave me a lot more of my interest into art. She is a watercolor artist, has also run in politics here in Brantford, and she is actually on the ticket this year too for us, on the independent ticket. I am the independent candidate running for first select woman here in Brentford, and I also am running on the Board of Education. Some people ask me why I'm running on multiple spots on the ballot. Simple answer. It's going to give me the opportunity to not only run in different parts of the ballot, it's also that I'm also interested to making one of the actual candidates coming on the ballot with me to actually be able to work with me. If I actually do win first select woman, it's saying I'm actually comfortable to work with either one of the Republican or Democrat candidates. I actually do. I'm an easy person to get along with. I actually like to be able to be challenged in my life, but these kind of things will make it easier. Bringing in somebody like me to be your first select woman is pretty clear. I'm going to show you during this entire program many ideas, the vision, where I come from, presentations, drawings, and a lot more information that affects you. I decided to step up and run for First Select Woman is it's time. It's time for me to not just be the businesswoman that I am here in town and do the wonderful things that I do from volunteerism to most of the organizations here in the community in Brantford. I've decided to get involved and become the First Select Woman and run for this candidacy as an independent candidate it's the only way to go. I wanted to make sure that I created the party, looked upon how we could get more people interested in becoming and interested in an independent candidate here in Brantford. So a lot of the information that you're gonna see during this entire show is basically made for you. A lot of the graphics, the information, you're gonna see much of my information that I'm putting out there. Many candidates 
don't know or have a question of what they want to do, I'm making it very clear and giving you where I stand on topics and what I can and offer us here in Bramford. For all of us, I don't want to leave anybody behind. I absolutely believe in equality of all races, genders, everybody in the world should be able to operate here in Brentford and be part of us. So a little bit more now, let's give you a little timeline on who and where I'm from. Again, as I mentioned, I'm JC Wyatt and I'm here in Brentford and I've lived here all my life. I have been a bikini model for majority of my life, but actually I've also been a businesswoman. These two careers have just created two different worlds for me and they just came together and created the person that I am. And again, this is going to be a part about my bio, a little bit more about me, some personal information and where I come from and how I came and where we are today. Hi, I'm JC Wyatt and this is my front stoop. This is where I grew up. This is where my family raised me here in Brantford. I'm 42 years old now and I'm running for your first elect woman here in Brantford as the independent candidate. I grew up on the corner of Beach Place and East Main Street, a really busy part right downtown Brantford. A really busy part of town, right on Beach Place and East Main Street, we're just seconds from the downtown Brantford area. A great place to walk and grow up. Being raised by wonderful parents, knowing that they would help me get farther in life, knowing that this is where it all began. I'm thanking them because I lived in a modest house, come from a regular grad background here in Brantford. Went to Brantford High School. I came through all of the school system and then went on to get my education and get three degrees in New York Institute of Technology. I eventually, I went to go to college. I went to New York. I got three degrees in architecture, interior design, and landscape architecture. I utilized my degrees to build myself into a different life and be able to grow me and then a business that I have 18 years here in Brantford. But remember, this is where I grew up. I come from a great family in a modest home, just like most of us here in Brantford. All of us get to grow our lives into wherever and where we can. Me, for running for election this year, I need your help to help my life grow to another level too. To not just help me, to help all of us come together and make Brantford a better place. We need someone like me who's fresh, exciting, young, and has great ideas for us. Be able to bring those things and incubate them to what we can do here in our town. I love Brantford. I know we all can make this place a better place. I know I'm the leader that can bring us to the next level of bringing Brantford to achievement. But one of the differences between me and my other candidates, I know I'm going to take all of us on this journey. No one's going to be left behind. All of us are going to be able to see a difference by having me here as your first select woman. I am a leader that can help us all grow better. I have those ideas and the plans that can make us be even more successful as a town. I lived a very independent life. But now it's come to the point that I need actually your help. I need your help to help me get to be able to be elected here in Bradford, Connecticut. I hope you support me on November 5th, 2013 and come out and vote independent and vote for JC Wyatt, me, to bring me into the town hall here in Bradford. So let me take you on a great journey about my life and where I come from here in Bradford and show you about some of the finest things that I've had in my life that I wish to share with you. So, Mom, what are you doing? Oh, you're looking at all the old pictures again. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's Look, me. <laughs> that's you as a Brantford cheerleader. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this over here? That's Grammy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's Nanny and Grampy. Over there in Florida? Yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. They always went to Florida. Yeah. There's a picture of us skiing. You always took yeah. us skiing. And here's skiing. Oh, look at that little one of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one's great. Look at this one. <laughs> the picture of you, Anthony DeRoss, Tootsie Laska, and Lucy Bello. Right. Oh my God, all the political oh, people boy. here in town. <laughs> this is a really pretty picture of you yeah. and your kitties. Yeah. Oh, this one's great too. Isn't yeah. that a picture of us when you just after you got sick? Right. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. These are some other ones, right? Well, these are the ones I think. You like those yeah. the best? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and now I want to show you my paintings. Okay, you want to show me your paintings? Yeah, over here. So you 
painting today? Yeah. What do you got painting there? Okay. Well, that one's coming out really nice. Yeah, this one is red. Yeah, it's a cool boat shot. Yeah. My mom has always been an artist all her life. She's been painting <laughs> since she's been a child. She has learned to make watercolors all on her own. That's part of where I got some of my artistic abilities here is from my mom. This is another great one too, mom. When did you do this one? Was it last year? I think you did this. Yeah, this, yeah, this was last year. This is another one of her paintings, and we have many of it here in our house of all my mom's watercolor drawings. Okay. So one of the things that people ask me what I like to do for fun is I like to lay out on our beach here on Main Street. You wouldn't expect to have a beach, but I love to lay out in the sun. And for me to be social and fun and have an enjoyable life, I've decided when I designed our house here a few years ago to add over 8,000 pounds of white sugar beach sand. It's nothing better than have that soft sand between your toes every single day. And that's one of the fun things that I like to do here in Brentford. So here we are, back at where I grew up 42 years later. It is a little different now. As everybody must know, I like to improve where I come from. Yeah, we have white beach sand, palm trees behind me. It's a place called home. I love everything about Brentford, and that's why I came and wanted to get more involved. I am running for your first select woman because I can improve a lot of the things here in town. Want to be more involved, and I'm not going away. I want to be involved for us for a very long time. I hope you elect me on November 5th for your first select woman here in Brantford and help me do what I do best, help you improve your life to make Brantford a bigger and better place for all of us. So let me give you a little bit more information on my timeline. We'll give you a little bit more information on how and where I came from to where we are today. So I was here in Brantford. I went to school at Brantford High School. I went through all of our public schools and decided to get more involved in a lot more things at home from an artistic family that I mentioned a few minutes ago. My family always loved me to draw. They always wanted me to get more involved in reading and I absolutely loved to do that at my own pace. When I was little, I decided to use Lego blocks and created an entire village. My family was fortunate enough to be able to buy me these things and I just built these things from blueprints, not just looking at the directions that they give us. I decided to build an airport put a little harbor in, build the homes, had entire road villages, and I decided to just do it a little different. This kind of thing was how I kind of grew up and how my mind started to process. I absolutely loved designing. It was just a basic talent that came inside my mind. I didn't really have any sort of formal education until I eventually get to college. So I took that toy and I turned it into a new way of looking how I was growing up. I decided this is really interesting. I love designing things. I want to build buildings. That started when I was a child. I used to get architectural books and I absolutely would just love to draw them. I would take them and build them into my Lego sets. I would be able to build an entire dollhouse eventually from a blueprint that I found when I was younger. I would play with these things and it was just an incredible part of just growing up in the stepping stone of learning. But I then, looking back at it now, it was one of the first steps that led me to why I wanted to become an architect. So that is where I eventually ended up. After college, I graduated with honors and I eventually went to New York Institute of Technology and I received three degrees. I have an architectural degree, I have an interior design and a landscape architecture. After starting in that field, at the same time, I created my own business sculpture. I wanted to not just work for somebody else in architecture, and which I did very successfully for part of my beginning of my life as just graduating from college, I was lucky enough to get a job in New York City. So I decided to build buildings and interior design during my day life, but at the same time when I went home, I focused on becoming this new world getting involved in this new world called the internet. So I learned how to be able to be a website designer and I looked upon how can I turn a product that I would like to do and sell it on the internet. So let's say right now, this is 1995. The internet wasn't really functioning where we are now. It was everybody was starting to get involved. 
So I used my day job to pay for how someone could teach me how to do web design. From there, I grew me into a company that was called JC Wyatt. Many people have now shopped in my stores, have brought my products, and I thank you for all that wonderful time and experience. I got to meet all of you during those times. So let's go back on the timeline of some of these JC Wyatt products that a lot of you are familiar with. During this time, I started with basically taking the drawings of my artwork and watercolors that I love to do, and I turned them into paper products. I created a company called JC Wyatt Signatures, and some of these things such as my note cards, gift baskets, stationary paper, all became part of this wonderful world that I love to do. We used to make these wonderful papers that I actually designed the drawings from nautical to the famous pandas. We used to have these wonderful pandas that I used to have for stationery, and many of them bought them at the craft shows right here in Brantford. My family used to take me, and I used to go out to from Newport to many fairs all around the state of Connecticut to sell this incredible product. As I grew with this product, it became one of the first things on the internet I sold. It was putting paper products and making these things get reached all around the country. And it successfully worked. It actually, I was making orders. I was starting to draw more, get more involved, making at least 14 themed books from sea, Christmas, all different types of themes that I put inside these stationary designs. During that time, people always asked me about having a product for children. So it came real quick. I realized, I gave a phone call to my aunt, my Aunt Jo, and I said, listen, I have a wonderful idea to come together and let's build a children's product. And she came up with a couple ideas. I said, we really need an awesome name. And she is absolutely the perfect person to help me. And that she was advised from doing her own businesses all her life. She said to come up with this great name called Giraffics. Giraffics, we registered it, took the website, and became a new product, a new company within the JC White Signatures products. And this wonderful product, called Giraffics, was six cards and a box of crayons with six envelopes for children to color. It was a beautiful design logo. It has a giraffe inside it. And these products are great. People will be able to color them for their birthday cards. They can color them for a school bus driver. And these used to just take off. We used to sell these constantly at the Brentford fairs and many of the things around here. So during that success of that time, I realized I could grow this business to the next level. So what did I do? I went to the National Stationery Show in New York City in 1997. And during that first launch, it was incredibly expensive and getting the entire family and everybody involved to come down and help. It was an amazing time to move into the Javits building for an entire week to be able to sell these wonderful products that I came up with. So at the show, Giraffics actually won for the best kids product for the United States in 1997. That actually just gave me an incredible boost into the business. Seeing these incredible ideas and products that were so basic to me became part of what I do. I grew our entire lines from the next level to the next level to the next building. And as you'll see today, we have a whole timeline of different products. That was one of the first starts. The next thing after that would have been another product that I actually fell in love with was part of my modeling career. During this time, I was photographed from hundreds of people all over the country from major companies, and I actually was actually photographed almost every single week, shooting from airplanes to Mexico to everywhere else they would send me. So one of the next products that I grew was absolutely one of my favorites. It was myself. I realized that not only was the imaging part of my background, I realized that I should sell myself. So I realized from years of being asked to be a model, I've actually went involved and actually did it. I've actually been very successful at it. I've had hundreds of companies hire me and get paid careers all over this country. I would be flown to every single exotic site 
from all over the place. Mostly sometimes I would be on three flights every week. I traveled so much that I could have been on 150 planes a year. It was absolutely an incredible career for me and I absolutely enjoyed every part of it. So why was it successful to me? I just loved being in front of the camera. I understand what we can do from behind the camera and sell the product. I would be even more involved with most of my photographers. I would help with the set designs. I just even like you someone behind you. I would get the lighting. I would understand what clothing and the fashion that would I be involved with in selling it for the client. I wasn't just trying to be a model. I was. And that started when I was around 24 years old. So let's go back to the timeline. I would have been around 25 years old. I still had my website businesses. I still operated everything I was doing on the internet. But now I was more successful into this and I realized that I was a great brand name. So JC Wyatt should sell herself. I realized what's better than take my images and photograph to over 200,000 photographs that I have of myself and let's just start putting it on products. I was creating photo CDs. We were creating magnets. We created a website that I had like selling mouse pads, taking the images of me that were sold from different companies like Body Glove and Eugenia and many other things. These kind of companies were taking my images and utilizing them. I said, well, so should I. So I would sell these products very successfully over the internet. One other great thing that I did is I decided because of I had so many photographs of myself, over 200,000 photographs, it adds up. I needed to make inventories. So I created these incredible books that I have and there's five of them right now that I have and they're printed and it'll tell you a whole story. There's bio information and it has images and totally wonderful things that I've created over my lifetime. Images of me in bikinis and different types of fashion. I wasn't always in the bikinis. Going to beautiful exotic locations in Miami and these kind of things would become part of our covers in different types of magazines and all over the area from Hampton News and many other things in New York of many of my people that I bumped in where I loved my images and wanted to utilize these. This is one actually in Biltmore down in Florida. And these are the kind of things that I was having fun with. I absolutely enjoyed it. I always kept in touch with our wonderful family that I had back here. But my modeling career was also something that I made sure never gave up on. And I worked with that till approximately three, four years ago when I decided to come back to take care of my mother when she had a stroke. But even so, let's go back again into more information about me. So what were some of the other products? After focusing on a lot more of me as an image, I decided to sell and utilize the wonderful images that I was taking around Brantford. I would take photographs constantly, thousands and thousands of photographs, digital photographs finally from going over to film and utilizing these to turn them into products too. Most of you people have bought our calendars that I've had created from Thimble Island, Stony Creek, used to sell them down actually in the Creekers when it was there back at that time. When these images came together, I realized that not only just marketing the product as all of these images and things that you're seeing, I've taken the photographs, but I've also designed the products. I take these images and I realized these are wonderful things for all of us to share. So these wonderful photo CDs were done by districts such as Indian Neck, the Thimble Islands, the regular downtown Brantford, over 200 images that you can be able to see on your computer. And these kind of things were all part of this whole new Brantford Pictures website and design business that I created then here in Brantford. One of my favorites was creating, like I said, the books. So taking my modeling career and turning it into another great product. Taking Brantford and selling it. Making it part of everything that we do. These wonderful book that it was created was for the Thimble Islands that I have. This is a wonderful thing. And these again are all my photos and designed these books for us here in Brantford to keep forever. During that time, then I started to realize we should open up a store. I've been through four of them so far. And the first one that I opened was actually in the John Tyler house, the 1710 historic house on Mill Plain Road and East Main Street. And over there, I re realized when I first saw the building, I was actually in New York at that time. I came here, I was visiting a friend of mine and we went horseback riding and we went by this building and it said for lease. 
I remember when I was a child, this building was always inspirational to me. And it just said, it's where we need to open a store. I, on the train ride back to New York, called the number and actually started to make the deal. And actually within two days, we were already on the process of being able to get the building to be my first store here in Brentford. I actually made the deal and then I called my mom and I said, mom, I'm moving back to Brentford from New York City and I'm going to open up a store. <laughs> For four years, it was one of the most incredible stores in Brentford. It was one of the most incredible times, creating incredible products. I created the entire building, not only to just be historical touring and being able to restore this wonderful building, but it also was my house. And we called it the house in J.C. Wyatt. Not only was I utilizing it for my store, there was about 20 rooms that were all themed inside. Many of you have been there. We had all the white Christmas lights, 55,000 of the lights on the trees out there at winter time. But it was great. We had a garden center. I had the chocolate covered apples that everybody was famous for. They are still part of our still collection. I still have a business called JC Wyatt Chocolatier. And that was one of the things that we had all the time is our chocolate covered apples. During the time of that store, we were so successful, not just from the internet, just retail sales, but selling the chocolate covered apples. We'd sell about 36,000 of them a year. We would have our trucks come in and we would have most of our family and employees. We'd have a wonderful time answering about two phone calls every minute to be able to get over 36 processed orders on a yearly time of Christmas between October and December, most of it at the Christmas time. We used to sell many different things too, such as fudge and chocolate truffles. And those were some of the other things that you're pretty familiar with. We used to take the product, sell them in wonderful boxes and bags and put them all over the place and actually enjoy. I loved, it was one of the best chocolates and it still is and I hope you still order them today. Actually, one of the other favorite products that came from the house of JC Wyatt is the can of nuts. It's not a can of paint, it's a can of nuts. It's called the Nut House Collection. This is one of my other famous products that we absolutely, and I absolutely adore. This is one of those products that you would be able to pick the type of nut that you wanted by the color of the circle on the actual can. Green was pistachio, yellow was cashew. Then we began peanuts and we had so many different ones. Comes in gallons, half gallons, and quarts. This product used to be one of the famous things for corporate accounts, one of the biggest things that we're doing on the internet. And again, the cans of nuts, it was called the Nut House Collection. It was incredible, fun, exciting product. And this also came from the house of J.C. Wyatt. So now we go talk all about all these products. What I'm trying to share with you is, this is something that I hope you understand is very clear. I take an idea and I make it bloom. I make it happen. I don't think about it. When I want something, we make it happen. I'm running for your first select woman because that's what I can offer to you here in Brentford. I'm incredibly experienced. I have an education background. I'm from here. I understand our history and who and where we are here in Brentford. I can utilize where I come from, what I do to be able to move us here in Brentford, just like I've been doing in the past, taking an accessible piece of an idea and making it happen. I don't want to talk about making it, we have to make it happen. And that's one thing that I offer that none of the other two candidates have a success history on. This experience that I offer as a businesswoman, understanding and selling a product, that is what Brantford is. We always have to bring in tourism. We need economic development. We need people to understand Brantford can be a lot more successful in the financial backing of what we do. I'm somebody that can bring in investors, bring in the plans and the vision that I'm proposing to you, and let's all work together. I love due process. I can't wait to have be more involved in any of these types of projects that I'm going to present to you. And that's one of the things that you very successfully and very clearly will get from me, J.C. Wyatt, a candidate here for Brantford. So after the J.C. Wyatt, many people asked where I, we left. We needed to leave because the building actually had a default in the building and we had to move out. It took me about two years to find the next location. It was in East Haven on the Brantford-East Haven line and it was called the Old Mill. 
I turned the old mill into the old mill country store and the J.C. Wyatt coffee house. Incredible coffee. We actually had an inside cafe on the river and it was in a wonderful position to be able to offer the products and we came back again from a retail point of view. As most people love to shop online, but it was more actually successful for me to be able to work and meet people to create more ideas and more products. What were some of the new products that came from that building is not only just fashion, I was more interested from my modeling over the two year gap there, is to be able to see what I can do with clothing and other types of products. One of the most successful things was having an underwear and bikini line. That was actually one of the things that we would laugh and you would see someone buy a coffee and a pair of underwear. One of the other things that I came up with during that time was everyone asked was body sprays. We came up with different types of makeup and things of that nature into more a glamour. We were like almost the Victoria's Secret here in the East Haven Brantford area. These are wonderful scents. Absolutely use them all the time. <laughs> and there's something that came from that product over there. One of the other things that I realized was getting more involved in fashion we were there for two years. My modeling career was starting to take off incredibly busy again. And we realized after my lease was up that it was time to move on. I found that somebody that was gonna actually gonna take over the business and eventually from the landlord not going through with it, eventually the second store has succeeded and we weren't able to operate. I was actually out west and I realized what's best to still come back and do more for the town of Brantford and other things that I can offer to people as a businesswoman that I am. So the next phase of what I did was one of another incredible things that came through an idea, going to Fashion Week, actually in Phoenix, and realized what's better to bring fashion to part of everything I do. Everyone's very familiar with it. So I realized to come up with Connecticut Fashion Week. I actually own the proclamation, and this is the sealed proclamation from Jody Rell that we received back in 2010. And we still have the actual business and the actual license to be able to operate here in the state of Connecticut, Connecticut Fashion Week. This was one of those phases that I realized, now we can move it to the next level. Get a lot more corporate involved. We get a lot more other people involved in doing a lot more for all of us, making more of a community event. So we designed the runway shows and we designed many of these castings and did incredible photographs all around the state of Connecticut. And it was incredible getting photographers, models, and created an entire agency of casting models to be able to get them careers and jobs. It also also led into that phase. Now we're heading into reality TV. Reality TV was part of my day life too. I was being casted and everybody wanted to also see what JCY can offer. I was in several different shows and I actually had fun during those times doing both of these projects and still operating my internet businesses. But one other thing that people might not realize during all that time, I never stopped with the architecture. For the about 10 to 15 of those years, I focused on a master plan for Brentford. I worked on seeing these wonderful buildings around our country and how can they relate here? How can we bring something of this beautiful buildings out everywhere else in the country here to Brantford? I always kept in touch with most of our political people here. I was somebody that even offered about putting the first golf course in 2003, actually at the Tabor site. I actually took my idea to Anthony Giras and John Opie and showed them, why don't we turn that wonderful land that you guys have down there into a nine hole golf course? And again, eventually ended up not from my hand, <laughs> but ended up being one of the situations we are today. And this is one of those things, just bringing an idea and making it an offer plan. They may have not succeeded to bring it to par, but I plan to. I do think that the Tabor property is wonderful to be kept as an open space, 18 hole golf course. And I think it'll be able to keep all of our natural trees, the riverfronts, the lakes, all of the different areas that are inside there to keep it preserved for us for years and years to come. So again, working on the background of the love of Brantford that I have, I've been working and put together presentations, meeting with investors, looking at people and developers that would be interested in purchasing land here in Brantford, and looking at making Brantford a different place of looking from our past to build the types of buildings that you just don't see here. Architecture, 
architecture that makes us want to take photographs, like the James Blackstone Library. We have this incredible building that we take photographs of. We go to Stony Creek, we take pictures of the waterfront and the islands. The architecture that exists, these are the kind of things that I put in the plan, looked upon how we can design many of the things that you'll see during this process that you'll see behind me. These are these kind of ideas that during all these different businesses and ideas and creating products that I came up with, it's all been done at the same time. I never gave up on Bramford. I never would. It's where I want to be and why I'm running for your first select woman. And bring some of these ideas that I've been working on to fruition. Which finally brings some of these wonderful plans that I'm presenting to you. And let's move on. Let's bring in some more ideas. I want to hear them from you. It's something so simple and so quick, but it's us together that makes this all come together and make Bramford a much better place to live. So keep looking for me at the meetings. Come and say hello. Tell me and voice your opinion. I absolutely love to hear what you have to say. Remember, I'm always at the meetings and you'll always be able to get a hold of me. I'm somebody that's courageous. I'm vicious. I'm a fresh breath air. I have a passion and a love for Brentford and I can't wait to share it more with you. I understand business and I understand a lot of the needs that we have here in Brentford. And due to that love, I got myself involved in many things. I absolutely love to volunteer here in Brantford. I'm a member of the Brantford Garden Club. I absolutely serve as a member on the library committee for the Friends of the Library. I actually was the vice president of the Brantford Historic Society. I'm actually now appointed to be one of your parks and open space commissioners here in Brantford. One of the other things that I love to do was be at the Brantford Festival. We were one of your vendors. Absolutely love to bring in the candy, the coffee, and the chocolates that we used to serve to all the wonderful Brantford residents. Not only was I a volunteer in the Brantford Road Race, and yes, two years ago, I also did run on the Republican ticket. But now, I'm running for first in selectman here in Brantford. I'm also on the Board of Ed. I'm giving you the opportunity to put me where you wish to be. I actually want to be your first selectwoman. I'm working really hard and making sure we get the name out and meet many of you to be able to think of me on November 5th, the election day. If you do, please do. I'd absolutely love to have more of your support. We have our signs all over town. If you want one, please let us know. Don't forget, read the articles. We have a wonderful website. You can follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, email. So you also probably read about me in the paper. The Sound did a wonderful article on me and also did the New Haven Register. These articles were absolutely great. It actually got the name out and it showed us what the independent ticket is about. I started the Independent Brantford Party Coalition for all of us, for Brantford to finally have an independent candidate on the ballot. We're the line three. It's going to say independent Brantford voters. You'll find me, J.C. Wyatt, on first. You'll also see me on the Board of Education. You'll also see many of the independent candidates on the third line. Look for them in all of the districts. Please vote independent. That reason is simple. We're not party politicians. This is me, a businesswoman, giving you a great vision and plan, giving us the opportunity that we don't have to vote party this year. Being able to be ourselves, be an individual, be independent. So if you do wish to support me this year, and I hope you do, please vote for me for first select woman here on the ticket here in Brantford, Connecticut. So as much as I, I think is it an honor to be able to run for first select woman here for you here in Brantford, I also think it's an honor to serve the people. As you may know, I have been attending every meeting in the town of Brantford, every association for about a year. I have been seeing every group meeting these commissioners and you, the wonderful people that come to them, being able to learn more, educate myself, find out what's happening here in Brantford for all of us, to be able to package a great plan and vision that makes it easier for all of us. Not only do I know what's going on in Brantford, but I made sure I put the time in and I made sure people realize that I wanted to volunteer. I wanted to raise my hand and do this. I'm a great candidate. Many people who do come to become a political person, it changes them. I'm not somebody that can change. 
I'm somebody that is who I am. I absolutely love to be who I am, and I absolutely love to help others, as I said. I look forward to serving all of us. I look forward to bringing some of these great ideas to life, being able to work with us and get more done here in Brantford. People ask me many things about what I want to change in Brantford. I'm not somebody that's just going to erase everything and change and this is the way it is. Take it step by step. I want to know who in town hall, review them, what they want, what they like to do. I want to make our town hall much more friendlier. I want to take my customer service base that I've had all my life and influence and be able to be able to bring that type of we can't wait to serve you at town hall. That's somebody that comes from me. That's something that you'll get every day. So keep looking for me in my smiling face always at the town meetings and any other event you have here in Brentford. Come and say hello. Come talk to me. Come share your story. I can't wait to listen. Remember, not only do I have background as being an executive CEO, but also I'm also a very good leader and can show you my leadership skills as I have for my businesses and how I can be the chief executive officer for us here in Bradford, Connecticut. I'm courageous. I'm ambitious. I'm a breath of fresh air. I'm somebody that is outside the box thinker. I'm a little different but I'm also a person that gets along with everybody. I look forward to working with everybody, no matter what political party they are. This is one of those things that makes me different amongst the two other candidates. I absolutely want to be able to bring Brantford more and offer more than we are. I'm a candidate that has those connections and be able to show us and let the vision from my architectural background, as you see in the presentations, be able to share that and be able to give you a clear vision of what we can and show you what projects look like that I wish to offer you. So now that you know a little bit more about me, remember, I'm honored to run for your first select woman. I'm not a politician, I'm a businesswoman, and I absolutely love to be able to look upon changing the political world here in Brantford by putting the first independent for select woman in our town hall. I'm honored to be able to serve the town of Brantford, and I absolutely love to look forward to doing much more for us here in Brantford, too. I look forward to your vote this election day, November 5th, and I look forward to telling us we did it and that we succeeded, and I look forward to serving us for a very long time. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you soon.